Max, how does it feel to be surrounded by so many boobies? I think I made my thoughts on boobies pretty clear. <laughs> You're looking very cruise chic. I just want to fit the part. We were at the airport, Volta Airport in the Galapagos, and we're a little bit nervous to meet our luxury cruise mates because if you know us, this isn't exactly our normal style, but we're keen to make a good first impression, hey? <laughs> I think they'll appreciate the humor. This is where we now live. It is bigger <laughs> than our van. It and, is. And has aircon. And this it's is big. our bathroom. Wow. It's pretty big. Yeah, I was expecting to. a desk. <laughs> a desk and to work. It. Not that we're going to be and working. a cute little safe. I was expecting our beds to be together. But. We got lots of time together. Now I'm going to sprawl. That's true. You can enjoy it. I'd like to point out that we're on this nice cruise and Max didn't pack one nice shirt. <laughs> I'm hanging my singlets at the moment. Yeah. It's what sophisticated people do, right? <laughs> By the way, the shirt's been a hit. <laughs> said nobody, actually. Yeah, but I could tell. No one said I anything. I could tell. There was like a lot of smiles, grins, <laughs> just breaking the ice. Buenos dias and welcome to day three of our cruise around the Galapagos Islands. As many of you already know, this isn't exactly our normal comfort level for traveling. Normally we're in our van, but the only reason we're able to afford this is because we booked a last minute cruise, as you would have seen in our video last week. And we do recognize how fortunate we are to be able to take cruise around the Galapagos Islands and not everybody is going to have that opportunity. So today we wanted to share our entire day's experience with you so that you can experience this with us. This way. The white rock at the end is a slippery, so slowly there, please. Promising start to the day. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we're waking him up. Just another local inhabitant on his morning walk. Jeez, Barbara, there's people in the way again. Oh, iguanas everywhere. Look at look the teeth, huh? If you get closer, look at the teeth. Gallo was saying that the more yellow ones are the males, and the less pretty ones are the females. And bigger. And bigger. It has the cacti behind it. I actually just have no fear of humans. That is a fear. Yeah, this is the jumping uh, iguana. South Plaza Island is one of the smallest islands with a visitor site. The North Island is closed to visitors and used solely for research purposes. 
No humans live on either of the Plaza Islands, but they are home to a wide variety of species and are famous for its flora, which changes colors with the seasons. The land iguanas living here are the smallest among the archipelago, and to no surprise, this island is yet again home to a large harem of sea lions. So cool how different this island is than yesterday's island. We have woken up this morning in the middle of a volcanic crater because we've sailed overnight and we are about to go on land to explore but apparently there's a lot of wildlife here. So do you want to explain why the red ones have the big puffy chest? So when they are looking for a mate, they flash their sexy red chest and the bigger it is, the more single they are. And they're the males or females? Males. Yeah, like all bird species, the males are the more colourful, beautiful ones. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. And they're the male frigate birds. And then the female ones have white chests and heads. I don't know if you can see that far back. But... Yeah, and if you look behind the white female there, there's a red-footed booby as well. Which have boobies. Right up there. God, nature's cool. So apparently this is the alpha male of the pack. He's a big boy. What do you reckon, Lee? Are you impressed? He's, he's, big. he's the alpha. Look at him go. And hey, size isn't everything, okay? So now we have a two hour voyage on the boat and it's for us it's just chill time but it's that's the time it takes to get from one island to the other one. Apparently it can be a little bit rough but everyone's just taking this time to chill, read a book. We're going to the sun deck. We're going to the top deck to relax. Check out the frigates that are flying with the boat. Yeah, we got an escort. Alright, this is our island for the afternoon. This is Santa Fe. I can already see a few little sea lions on the beach over there waiting for us. But I think first we're snorkeling. Hopefully this weather improves because it's looking a little overcast. It's snorkel time! Oh, look at you, you're ready. <laughs> Come on, someone else went out in their speedos the other day. You could just go in the speedos. I'm not European. I wear board shorts while I snorkel. <laughs> and a wetsuit top. Let's know guys, would you rather Max snorkel in his speedos? I think 90% of people are going to say put the board shorts on, at least. <laughs> Favorite snorkel yet. And what are you going now? Yeah. 
What <laughs> car you gonna come back to? To get used to it. Welcome to another world. They truly live the life. Hey, buddy. Just come to say hello, Lee. So Gallo was just telling us these cacti are endemic to the Galapagos and the reason that they're such a strange shape with that really tall, smooth trunk and then the cacti are high is from adaptation and that's because they used to have two predators that would eat the cacti and that one was the Galapagos tortoise that was on the island and also the iguana and they would both eat the lower down pair parts of the cacti and so over time the cacti is adapted to grow taller and have their pairs up higher where they couldn't reach and because the bark's slippery the iguanas can't climb up it anymore. And this tree is about 160 years old. Yeah. Roughly it can grow five centimeters a year and then this over here is what a teenager one looks like. So a teenager while it's growing tall it has these spikes so that these iguanas, and there's no longer tortoises, but the iguanas can't eat it. And then once they get tall enough, they shed their spikes and then it becomes that slippery bark. Yeah, and the reason there's no longer tortoises is because pirates mainly came and they used to take the tortoises because they were so easy to take, put them on their boats and they'd keep them alive and they could stay alive for like months without food and then they'd kill them and eat them. And so it was like a really convenient food for ships and things to take. But the problem was that decimated the population of a lot of the Galapagos tortoises. So now there's only a couple of islands with them left. I can sit here and watch these sea lions all day long. You're hanging out with your mates again, huh? Yeah. They smell like you. They, they really stink. <laughs> they stink. <laughs> they stink a lot. <laughs> Almost has as good a life as Oki does. <laughs> Bye, sea lion. That's the way go. See you in six years. Yeah. Same island. <laughs> same guy, then same guy. Well, that was our last activity of our day activities today. Thank you for coming along with us through the Galapagos via our cruise. We wanted to leave you off with a few more details about the boat. <laughs> I just saw what I We're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you have the Galapagos in mind as a future destination, then I hope this has got you more excited for it. If you don't think you'll ever make it here, I hope it gave you a good sense of what it actually is like. It truly is a super unique place on Earth and we just love seeing all the animals and learning a bit more about it. Yeah, we wanted to leave you off with a few more details about the boat. We are on a boat called Anahi. Most of you will know, especially if you saw our video last week, that coming on this trip was a big splurge for us. However, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
twice if you're this guy and you're extra lucky. Yeah. But we paid $1,250 each person to come on this boat for five days and four nights. Yeah. That's definitely the best price we found. It's more than double that. If you want to see more about how we got that deal and how to prepare for it, watch last week's video. And otherwise, the boat all in all, we've absolutely loved it. The sun deck was amazing. It has a jacuzzi, which we plan on getting in again very shortly. But the only thing, I guess the only negative we would say about the boat is the food was probably slightly more basic than we thought it was going to be, considering it is considered a luxury vessel and we paid so much money. Yeah, but our guide Gallo was awesome. The crew was amazing, yeah. fun to spend time with. Yeah, and the crew I loved think, a bit of banter, which was awesome. Yeah, we don't regret it at all. We we're so happy that we spent the money and so happy that we could share this awesome adventure with you. Yeah. So if you want to see more of it and a longer version of this video, we do have extended versions on our Patreon page. If you're not subscribed to us, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you if do ever like want to see some more videos. <laughs> if you want to see us again, if not, just exit out of this video and pretend you ever saw us. If you liked it, gently tap the thumbs up button. And lastly, that is not all from us in the Galapagos. We have one week left to explore the island after this cruise. We want to do some diving. Hopefully see some hammerhead sharks. Very keen And for that. we're excited to share more with you. So hit that notification bell if you do want to be notified when we put out our next video. But otherwise, we will see you next time. See you next week. Just what I feared has happened. Lee has become one with the pack. I'm afraid she may be staying on the island.